Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, my name is Josh and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Southwest Rapid Rewards Performance Business Credit Card. So I'll be going over the main features of this card, its pros as well as its drawbacks. So hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a much better idea whether or not this credit card is a good fit for you. But before we go ahead and dive into the main features of this card, if you wouldn't mind helping me out real quickly by just giving this video a like, that just helps out with a good old YouTube algorithm and also consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. Plus, if you would like to receive up to $200 in free stock and a pinned comment below, I will be leaving a link to Robinhood. All you have to do is once you click on that link, is just sign up for a free account and then simply link your bank account. You do not even have to make an opening deposit. At that point in time, Robinhood will be sending you one free stock worth all the way up to $200. Okay, so diving right into the main features of the Southwest Rapid Rewards business performance credit card. First off, we are gonna be discussing points and how you can earn them with this card. So starting out, you will be earning four points per dollar spent on Southwest airline purchases. Then you'll be earning three points per dollar spent on Rapid Reward hotel and car rental partner purchases. You'll be earning two points per dollar spent on social media and search engine, advertising, internet, cable, and phone services. You'll also be earning two points per dollar spent on local transit and commuting, including ride share services. And then finally, on all other transactions, you will be earning one point per dollar spent. Now with this card, there's also going to be a welcome spin bonus as well. So as long as you're able to spend at least $5,000 within the first three months from your account opening, you will be receiving 80,000 points, but you can actually earn all the way up to 120,000 points in total. So you can earn an additional 40,000 points when you spend $15,000 within the first nine months of having this card. Now with this card, there's also gonna be some other perks that come along with it as well. So just for instance, you can earn 9,000 anniversary points each year after your card member anniversary. You're also gonna be receiving four upgraded boardings per year when available, up to 365 in-flight Wi-Fi credits per year. You can also earn 1,500 tier qualifying points towards A-list status for every five $5,000 spent with no limit on the amount of TQPs that you can earn with this card. You're also going to be receiving a $500 fee credit for points transfers when you use this card to transfer points to another Rapid Rewards member. Fee associated with the transfer will be reimbursed up to $500 in statement credits per account anniversary year. Also, you can receive employee cards at no additional cost. So if you have extra employees and you want to give them cards, you can also do that at no additional cost. Also, you're gonna be receiving a $100 credit every four years for either global entry, TSA pre-check, or at Nexus fee as well. Also with this card, you're gonna be receiving some travel and purchase coverage as well. So just starting out, you will be receiving lost luggage reimbursement. So if you or an immediate family member check or carry on luggage that is damaged or lost by the carrier, you will be covered up to $3,000 per passenger. You're also gonna be receiving baggage delay insurance as well. So with this, it's going to reimburse you for essential purchases like toiletries and clothing. For baggage delays over six hours by passenger carrier up to $100 a day for three days in total, so $300 in total there. You're also gonna be receiving extended warranty protection as well. So with this, it is going to extend the time period of the manufacturer US warranty by one additional year on eligible warranties of three years or less. And then finally, you're also gonna be receiving purchase protection. So with this, it is going to cover new purchases for 120 days against damage or theft up to $10,000 per claim and $50,000 per account. And then finally, there's also gonna be some partner benefits as well with DoorDash through DashPass. So with this, you are gonna be receiving one year of DashPass for free. And with this, it is going to provide unlimited deliveries with $0 delivery fees and lower service fees on eligible orders. So now that we've been over the main features of this card at this point in time, we are gonna go ahead and dive into the APR and fees. And of course, that's also super important as well. So starting out your purchase APR is going to be anywhere between 21.49 to 28.49% based on your credit worthiness. For balance transfers, it's gonna be exactly the same, 21.49 to 28.49% based 
based on your credit worthiness. Then as far as cash advances go on this channel, we normally recommend to stay far away from cash advances. This of course should not be considered financial advice, just my own personal reasons. Usually with them, you have a very high interest rate plus a lot of fees as well. But if you do decide to take out a cash advance with this card, just know that your APR on them is going to be a whopping 29.99% plus a lot of fees as well, which we are gonna go ahead and dive into right now. So as far as your fees go, starting out on those cash advances, you are gonna have a fee on each cash advance of either $15 or 5%, whichever happens to be greater. Then as far as balance transfers go, even though it's not going to make a whole lot of sense to do a balance transfer, at least starting out, just because you're not gonna be receiving like a 0% promotional APR, if later down the line they do offer you something like that, you decide to take advantage of it, then at that point, it's still not gonna be completely free because there is going to be a fee associated with each balance transfer. That fee is either going to be $5 or 5% of the amount of each balance transfer, whichever happens to be greater. There's also going to be a late or return payment fee with this card. That fee is going to be $40. There's not going to be any foreign transaction fees though. So if you do happen to travel abroad, this is a card you can take with you and you don't have to worry about being charged anything extra, at least by Chase. And then finally, the big fee with this card is that annual fee. The annual fee with this card is going to be $199. So you will have to sit down and evaluate each and every year. Like, am I getting at least $199 back in value or more to make paying $199? for this card every single year worthwhile for me. But now that we went over the main features of this card as well as its APR and fees, at this point in time, we're gonna go ahead and dive into what I would consider to be the best things about this card and the worst things about the card. So we're gonna start out with the positives. The first positive, of course, is the fact that you can earn up to 120,000 points with this card. Remember, you're gonna earn 80,000 points initially if you spend at least $5,000 within the first three months, and then you can earn an additional 40,000 points if you spend $15,000 in total within the first nine months of having this card. Also, you're gonna be earning four points per dollar spent on Southwest Airline transactions, so that's pretty solid. You're also gonna be receiving four upgraded boardings per year. You're also gonna be receiving 9,000 anniversary points starting on your first card member anniversary and each year after that. That's gonna be worth right around $126 in value. You're also gonna be receiving a credit of $100 that will be going towards global entry, TSA pre-check, or a Nexus. And then finally, with this card, there are not gonna be any foreign transaction fees. So those are the good things about this card. As far as the drawbacks go, the first drawback obviously is that $199 annual fee. For a lot of people, that might be a little bit too high, but keep in mind also, you are going to be earning those 9,000 anniversary points, which is going to be worth right around $126 in value. You're also going to be receiving the $100 credit every four years towards global entry, TSA pre-check, or Nexus. That's going to be $25 on average. So with those two combined together, you're getting a little bit closer to the $199 $9 mark to cut that off. And then of course, the other drawback with this card is you're not receiving any type of promotional APR on your purchases or balance transfers with other cards out there on the market right now. They are indeed offering those promotions of 0% for the say like the first 12 to 18 months on purchases or balance transfers or even both. With this card, you're not receiving that, so it's obviously a drawback as well. But just to sum things up here, all in all, at least for the first year, if you can hit those spin bonuses and get the 120,000 points, it's definitely gonna be worthwhile, even with that $199 annual fee. However, with the second year moving forward, it's really going to come down to how often you fly Southwest, how loyal you are to that brand. If you're very super loyal, then perhaps this card could be worthwhile for you. However, if you're not really all that loyal just to Southwest, you fly a lot of other airlines as well, then perhaps this is not going to make the most sense for you. But that's all we have for today's review. I certainly hope that you enjoyed and found value out of it. If you did, again, I would greatly appreciate it if you could give this video a like. Consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already, and I will see you in the next video.